Hello. Hello. Randall has gone to the bathroom now. He is happy. But the toilet paper was not on its roll. Hmm? It's from an it's from a Oh, okay. Rosalind got really mad because people always have toilet paper but not on the roll. Also, you're not really talking into your mic right now, DJ. You can't hear me of all people? Mm-hmm. Well this annoys me greatly. Maybe we yeah. like broke our speaker. Like I said, right. I just at some point need to go over to your house and teach you like where your mic should be set up. Like or the same distance from it we've always been. Yeah, we're yeah, we're not that much far. We're about yeah, it is about the same. Distance. Yep. It can also be like what direction you have the mic facing. Yeah, that might be it. Eric, right, can you hear us now? Yes, definitely can hear you a lot better right now. Yay. Well, it's entered automated configuration. Mode? Mode? You didn't say mode. I, I did. Yes, you did. But I'll uh, say it again. Well, say it. it's entered automated configuration mode. Say it, DJ. Mode? Okay, you it's said entered, that sick time. It's entered the mode. It does that now? Yup. My handiwork. With the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hockey. Play hooky. Oh, dang it. Hooky. Play hooky. Hooky. <laughs> Hooky, hooky, hooky. <laughs> but instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's a lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. And we can just switch between them. Yep, I can press Q now. Can she see this guy again? Right. You're Thank still you. here! <laughs> no, this isn't fair! I worked so hard my whole life and now I had to die before I even been to Detroit! Fuck this whole fucking fuck 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 and fuck you and your fuck! <laughs> Old people have no filter! <laughs> you know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps... Perhaps they could still save me. Maybe they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay! Tell them I'll pay anything! Go! Go to the real world and tell them to save me, please! It's not too late! You again? No. No need to speak. I know what you're gonna say. If there were ways to save me, they would have done it already. There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? What good is anything, really? Just leave me, Doc. I'm already dead. Oh. I do enjoy that she keeps knocking on his door, even though it's clearly bothering him. You know what? I thought it through. Every day dies someday. For me, today is as good a day as any. And with you oh, here, no. you can make my dreams come true. So today's actually my lucky day. So go ahead, fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king. <laughs> we already told you, you're not dying. Right. You're not our patient, and we're right. not here for you. Dancing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna make a note to sign someone else to this guy. <laughs> oh good, I can't continue. I knocked and nothing happened. Disco back. And make me its king. It's no tour without a guide. You wanna guide me? Yes. I see if you want, I can take a... <laughs> yeah, you can be Sophia. 
Okay. Uh, tell me about Colin. Could you tell me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going into his head? Oh, Hannah, we couldn't hear you this time. Nah. She's literally right in front of the mic. Well, I don't not, understand. Not... Yeah, I mean, it's still in the same spot. Why? Won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? Eh. You never know, know when additional perspectives will come in handy. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. You're like zero help. Ah, open, close, open, close, open, close. Yee, it's fun. Dude, I want to read it, because, yeah, what'd she say? Oh, he doesn't do anything different. Anything I can help you with, Doc? Yeah, I want to know about your dead dad. Seeing as we're going, seeing as we're going into your father's head, and all, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot, and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up, and always made time for us. Although more recently. <laughs> but recently, what? Well. Nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'd help. Sweet! Spares me the asking. Asher, join the party! Can we get Sophia to join the party still? Or is she just like, nah, screw you? Yes. It's okay. I'll show them around. Darn it. I think we got locked out of her the moment we got him. Nah, it's fine. Model of a small fixed wing aircraft. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. An age digital piano. This is my mother's old keyboard. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. Dear God, I am him. <laughs> a dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. She plays the cello too? No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He's usually he usually just plays the scales though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Oh, it's this kid. Hey, you got your bear back. I'll oh, be that's potato. also me. No, I'll yes. be potato. Okay. okay, you can be potato. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. Right. Please tell your parents to wash your sugar intake. I, I can vibrate on a different plane of existence. Ma said if I ever get bored, I can just potate. <laughs> oh, you poor what? child. Potate, apparently. I'm potating! Potate! Yay! Potating! <laughs> potating! <laughs> what the hell is potating? I don't know, but she's enjoying it. 
<laughs> Does the tree say anything different? You know what? I... Seventh cat. Potato. Seventh cat is probably going to be after Marvel or and Wub dies. What a vain attempt to conquer nature. Sorry, lady. I got to think about the future without you. Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, just forgot something. But gosh, I sure hope not. Yay, lady. Lady, lady, lady. Mm. Why is the kid not with us anymore? Oh, there is. Somebody's dog. A pot of homegrown hib uh, hibiscuses. Huh? Aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, and that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept taped it up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yep, it's taped up all right. He doesn't want anyone reading it, eh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. I'm doing open! How do we do it? The bad idea, dance. Well, no, bad I idea. Bad idea. The more information you get about the client, the more you can. This is true. Although, yeah, like you said, under normal circumstances, you normally don't go through people's We're stuff. just about to go through this guy's, like. Well, his head, yes. I, I understand head. that. <laughs> I think I... that we should be nosy bitches. Yeah, and seal it open. For the sake of science! And, uh, the client. <laughs> Holy crap! What? What, what is it? What? Nothing. Huh? huh? Literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. Seems like they're just glued back onto the spine, too. That's odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded. I suppose. By the way, can't do much with this as it is. Let's look somewhere else. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. What? She left. Here's the family photo album. It goes way back. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father, then. My colleague will be back soon, so... 
I should get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Flip. Flip. Aww. All right, so we've got Colin, his wife Sophia, then with baby Asher. Is he an only child? Colin with his son Asher. Yeah, I think Asher is their only son. Some family photos. Mm. Asher graduating, playing soccer. Piano and cello, and they're looking at each other. Mm -hmm. Asher's traveling abroad and everything. Can't do any more with, uh, with, uh, oh, there's, there's the lady. Who's dying, dear? Pardon me, ma'am? That coat and tag. You're from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin reads. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me every day. My husband and I? No, don't correct my fucking language. <laughs> Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. Well, after years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Well. The days are getting colder, but that's what sweaters are for. I don't care much for cliches, but I finished knitting one for my granddaughter yesterday. Uh -huh. There's not much I can do with this age, but at least I can protect her from the cold. Aww. Okay. That's sweet. I wonder if the other toy is out too. Yep, they're yep. both not in there. Can we get in the other car? Can we look at the bike? I'm trying. Darn it. If, if we were me, we'd be looking at the bike. Darn it. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you sent Rosalind to pick up the paper. file isn't in the car either. That doofus must have left it in the office. This should be you, Hannah. Eva! Hey, Roxy, still at the office? Yep, just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand, with it opening instantly for you every time. Wait, well, you are main characters. Uh, what? Yeah, that's right, it's funny. I wait for elevators, too. <laughs> yeah? What was the last time it didn't open instantly? Ah, this game keeps calling us uh, out. See? You're either freakishly lucky, or... Okay, okay, for pumpkin's sake... Look, Nia forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, Pocky Loki. Just give. Or is it Pocky or Pokey Loki? I feel like it's either po Pocky. Pokey, Pokey Loki, or it'd be like Pocky Loki. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, okie dokie, Pocky Loki. Pokey 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 Loki.
We can't win with our microphone. Yeah. We either hold. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Like I said, just let me come over to your house. I'll be, I'll be the creepy guy. Which I don't. I well, we won't share details here, but I, I will need to like send you our addresses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's try again. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Just give me a moment. Lady, lady, lady. Mission. Oh, mission, oh, oh, that's... mission accomplished. Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Shit, I forgot the office, didn't I? It's fine. I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. <laughs> oh. Well, my office is locked, but she should check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. I have a child. Did you find it, Rox? Ow! Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just gained it in. Wait, Neil's Neil? table? You're in Neil's office? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said he had his door locked. Oh. Well, the girl's got her ways. I wasn't mean. Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked this electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Okay. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yep, yep, on it. Oh, wait, what? What is going on? Is that how she got in? Nope. What That's not how she got in. Oh, Lord. Yeah, uh. You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. I got a mean day. How's the weather out there? Mean. Uh huh. Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad. Neato. I think I'll just come over to get the file in person. Um, why? Just get in and send it over. It saves us saves time for both of us. Well, we've got no patience today. And it's boring here. What, what am I hiding? Anyhow, Wait. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. No, no, you can't play with that. Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. Marbles up the face. Why not ball that, Roxanne? Let me hold you and love you. No. <laughs> She's so mean. She's like, I need my space. She just doesn't like it when I pick her up. Why, she likes cuddles. Why do you not respect her personal space? Because she's my cat, and I don't care. <laughs> she's my baby girl, and I love her, and I want to give her hugs and kisses, and she's like, Neil. Um, is everything ready? You betcha. Including that hidden door in my in my uh, oh, in my room. You, excuse me, you're trying to keep that secret. Oh right. Um, how about the file? Has Rox sent the scans? No, she says she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She says she was bored, but something felt odd. And again, you know Roxanne. She always a little cucumbered up in the head. You mean like sushi? Whoa. Language, Eva. Anyway, I guess it could still start in the meantime. 
Get helmets on the recliner. Yeah, let's just go for it. Actually, wait, let's see here. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and call it here for right now. Alrighty. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.